So we've moved on from Port Ferry this morning. It was bloody cold. We packed up and we went to MacArthur Reserve, which is an awesome little spot. It's only about um, 48k, I think, up from Port uh, Ferry. We have gone out to Budji Bim National Park. Did you tell everyone how far that we had to drive today? Like yeah. it was a big day today. It's, we we crack out 48k. <laughs> There's an information board here, it gives us a few of the walks. We're not gonna do the whole walks because we wanna see each individual one. So we'll just do parts of them because you can park at the car park, just go and see the lake. You can come back, you can just go out to see the um, tunnel cave and then we might drive around to the natural bridge. It saves us having to walk all the way around or do these rim walks because of time obviously, plus I'm with my parents and uh, they're in their 70s so we just try and keep things nice, light and easy but make sure we try and check out all the wonderful sights of this area. I read a review, it said for the lake walk to take the left, do the stairs first, get to the lake, you look in. It's not massively high stairs so, so the walk should be fairly easy. We could have driven up. Well, you needed some exercise. Oh, wow. This is Lake Surprise. This is a crater lake and Oh my goodness, it is so much bigger than we thought it would be. We did not expect anything this big. This is over 700 meters long. Wow. Coming across a tree on the road, a tree on the road, a tree on the road. <laughs> Coming across a tree on a road, a tree on a tree on the road. Oh road. no, I can't I know go any going further. Going across a tree on the road. Watch these dinglings trip over this tree. <laughs> Look out! We can go to the lookout. Cool. 1865 2023 This is an artery of lava An, an artery, artery of, of lava, lava. Uh, From this tube of this cave the lava pulsed out thousands of years ago. Pretty cool. And we can go in and check it out. Kilometers. Thirty meters. Alright. Yeah, take us right down to the crutch. You see any bug or anything? No, not at all. Think I'm the scariest thing in here. Oh my god, we've always wanted to see guy worms and we thought we'd just see a little bit. Check, mm. that is amazing. They're just everywhere. Are you sure they're glowing? They are, you can see the little sparkly bits. Come mm here, -hmm. you can see over there, you can see the oh, little sparkly bits. Like, we have been chasing glow worm caves everywhere and we might see one or two. This is amazing. This is like mind blowing how many glow worms there are in here. It's awesome. What a find! Oh, there's a river. No, I'm not going any further. We'd be in the water. 
Sorry, Charlie. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to crawl? It's not glowworms. It's really pretty, but it's not glowworms. What do you reckon it is? Phosphorus. No, I don't know. It's it's something. We'll have to yeah. do some research. We'll do some research, but it's not glowworms. This is the end of the line, folks. That gets right down to a crawl space. Well, I can stand up in here. But that is the end. Here's proof that drop bears are real. We're just driving around to the natural bridge and I suddenly yell that, stop, stop, stop. And everyone's like, what's going on? But check out how cute this koala is. Like, oh my goodness, he is so gorgeous. I really haven't seen one on the ground before. And he's just, he's going for a walk. Oh, just, oh, I love it. Well, we finally made it to the natural bridge. Did you know this walk that we're on right now actually follows an ancient lava flow and the roof has collapsed in this area. And then right at the end, we actually see where, oh yeah, the roof is still intact. Let's go check it out. So we're at the natural bridge, check this out. Woo, how cool is that? We're going in. Get down from there, please. What am I doing? <laughs> hey, I was gonna say you can't believe it. I can't even see it. Hey, what are you doing up there? I, I'm looking at that bright light. Light can't see. Ah, uh, no, that one doesn't have a flash. Where's Matt? Rich is keen to get onto these stairs. And we stopped at MacArthur just to, because we had nowhere else. <laughs> we didn't know where we were going again. today, so we stopped in MacArthur just to have a look around. There's a reserve, good heaps price. Heaps of things to go look and, at. But so there were heaps of things to look at, wasn't there? Oh, yeah. It, it, all the volcano stuff is so awesome. cool. I love it. Got to check it out. You definitely do. It feels like you're in the bowels of the volcano. MacArthur Reserve. Awesome little spot to stop, $20 a night for power. Um, there is only a water tank for water, don't park near it because the fire truck, in case there's a fire, they need to access that. $10 a night if you don't want power. There is hot showers here, there is uh, toilets here, and you have access to the Bijum Bim National Park, which has got the uh, lava caves and that there, which is an awesome little day trip from here to pop out. It's only about 15 minutes up the road. Check here if you're heading to Grampians from the coast, make sure you pop into here just for a little break up. It's a fantastic little camp spot. Plus, I'm going to get to check out some of the local footy because they train on Wednesday nights. And I'm going to enjoy some, uh, my favourite, footy. I love the footy. Who doesn't love AFL, really? 
As you guys know, we love playing games and one of the coolest things about camping with family is all of our family love playing games as well. And Kane's parents are no exception. Now, they've got a game that we actually don't own. We've only played it once before with the Speddos, but it's called Triominoes. And it is perfect for camping because they're tiles, they can't blow away, and it's just so easy to do. The hardest thing I think with this game is, is a fair bit of maths for the person who is the scorer. So if you're the poor scorer in this game, you are constantly having to add up, which is not my fun part, hence Kane is the scorer. But it is a cool game and we had lots of fun playing games. Mount Nape is there, and we're there. That's nowhere near there. <laughs> if you get my gift, uh, I think Mount Napier might be that uh, peak that we can see right out in the background. That's what I'm going with anyway. So we're probably going to check out the Bayer Duck Caves too while we're just here at MacArthur. We checked out the um, well, Mount Eccles National Park. That's where all the other dam and the crater and the caves there are. And the natural arch, which is or bridge, which was fantastic. So today we've been told to go and check this out. Make sure we stop at the lookout because you can see the flow. And it's to be honest it's actually really pretty in that here certainly because it's green you can see definitely the flow and the markings but 8,000 years ago these things happened today i'm just able to stand here and enjoy it we're at the Bayer duck caves recommended to us by some people at macarthur where we stayed plenty of room to get your caravan in here it's a nice big area and we're told that there's a probably do a kilometer and you can see all of them you can do more, but we'll go and check it out. Are you ready to go? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Is this the Trina dance? Yeah. Caves. Oh. This way. Must come back that way, eh? That's what I'm thinking. It must do a circuit. This is the birdies. There's some magpies. Mm -hmm. We're walking across the lava <laughs> flow. <laughs> Hello, did did you scare my wife? Are you scared of the wallaby? Oh, I scared the crap out of me. I just had the big bang, bang, bang. Really? He's not scared. We're going to crack it to Harmon's Cave 1. Look at it. There you go. Mum, in you go. There it is. You go through for me, please. Hey, things have been laying down in there, don't they? Yeah, you shortly when you go through. No, that's a wallaby. Well, wallaby's been there. Look, that's a lovely little house for them. It is, isn't it? I'm thinking that it, that's it down there. It's all collapsed, so you're not allowed to go in. It's just a big hole. It's a big sinkhole. Yeah. Uh-huh. Harmon's Cave 1. To be honest, there's nothing on it. There is... But it's very sun faded, so yep, good luck with reading that one. Looks like people might have gone down there. It's very slippery down the bottom here, Trina. It's big. There's bats on oh, no, other birds. There is ferns in here. Right, I'm just at the entrance of Harmon's one. It's not really that deep by the looks of it, but I'll just wander down in. There is a plaque down here to tell us about it. Oh, it tells you about the um, cave systems and the whole sort of makeup, but uh, pretty cool. Jeez, I've done well with my hair today. I've done it so nicely. No, that goes back a bit. I'm heading in. Well, you're going to have to come into the light. You see me? I'm doing good, aren't I? 
It said, do not enter. Slebbage. Yep. There's a fair way back. It's really pretty, the entrance. Just check out this rock formation in here. It's, uh, it's definitely very unique and volcanic. A lot of phosphorus. Uh, we said it's phosphorus. We still haven't looked it up. So it's white, shiny stuff it glows up. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of this very knuckly, barnacly, cauliflower looking rock. With some water spots dropping in. So it's a pretty fragile micro and climate here. There is over 21 ferns and 62 mosses. All the mosses look green to me, but they said there's 62 different species of moss. 21 ferns. There is bats in here. They're the secretive dwellers. I didn't see any, but it was well worth the visit. Wow, yeah, Charlie, please be careful there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, start jumping up and down. Have a look at her. If you were there, would she be telling you off? Yes. Yes. There is like a half a foot of rock between you and nothing underneath. <laughs> to be honest, all the way along there, it'd be like that looking at that. Yep. We just walked over all that. Please do some jumping. <laughs> Pretend you're a kangaroo. It's a nice little walk along here. It's pretty flat. Well-defined little path. Sounds hollow underneath. <laughs> but we're heading to the bridge. So we've seen Heyman's one, seen Heyman's two. One you can walk into, two you can probably climb down in. Didn't worry about that. But uh, now we're going to wander around and see if we can find the bridge. So there's Bridge Cave 1, Bridge Cave 2. We're about to have a look at Bridge Cave 1. Holy frost. Really look at her. <laughs> no we did more to it. <laughs> Holy frost. <laughs> look at that. It is just unbelievable to think that there was lava flowing through here thousands of years ago. That is so cool. Well, it's so hot actually. See a nice big rock wall over there the farmers built. It's pretty cool. Like I said, you look at the landscape because we're in the lava where it would have flowed. And uh, the sinkholes and drop into big tunnels. Historic wall and thank you to modern people. Look at you. How good are you guys? All want to step over the wall because you are potatoes and knocking it down. It's got mesh on it. So don't go over the historic How wall. How do you know they've stepped over it? Because it's clear. It might have just fallen down. Nope. Cranky old man. I am cranky old man. It's wide at the sign, the pathway. The human story. So early settlers from about 1838 when they started coming in this area with their sheep farms used the resources that were here which were these stones, the lava stones and built these um, lava stone walls. They're pretty cool. They used them to keep sheep out, try and restrict fires and all that sort of stuff. And it's still here today so yeah, it's actually quite cool and iconic. So what do we think? Yeah, that's pretty cool. A um, little bit uh, misleading in when they say it's caves and a lot of the wiki camps say you can walk through. You can get down the first one, but really the other three you can't go in. But they were awesome to look at. They were very, very good to look at. Rock there. Uh, obviously Trina can't look where she's going and talk, even though she tells me she can do multiple things at one time. But yes, it's uh, definitely worth calling in. Just another thing that you can check out on the way. 
and uh, all natural. It is all natural. The historic wall's not, but it was pretty specky too to look at. <laughs> Two to three metres a day those poor buggers would go building that wall, so it wasn't a very fast process. So yeah, if you're going from Port Ferry sort of up to the Grampians through Hamilton that way, heaps to call at, call at heaps to look at around MacArthur and Biaduct. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Mount Sturgeon, that fella. Mount Abrupt, that fella. Just a little stop off on the way to Dunkeld from Hamilton. Nice views of the mountains. Imagine going to the races and having that as your backdrop. So Dunkeld, there he is out there. Well, we enjoy taking the road less traveled and we have loved taking the scenic route from Port Ferry heading on our way to the Grampians. And as you can tell by the mountains in the background, we are not far from the Grampians. So don't forget to check us out next week because we're going to spend some time exploring the Grampians area and you don't want to miss that. So make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll catch you next week. <laughs> no, okay, coming in close. Okay. Uh, from this tube of this cave, um, lava beautiful. No, it wasn't pulsed. I like that word better. Okay, gassy. Hey. There's a volcano. So, the battery says 30%, but Trina keeps saying bowels, and the bloody battery goes flat. <laughs> so, bowels is banned. No more bowels. Bowels, bowels, bowels. This is how we pan around together. Oh no, where's your really? panning? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get some video footage. You're an idiot. So we're at the Biaduck Caves now, which was recommended to us by some people staying at, uh, no, you're an idiot. You're a spastic. He doesn't stay there. He lives in MacArthur. I got all the <coughs> shush, multiple holes, and that you kind of just...